We, the civilians of Kyrgyzstan, appeal to the world in this difficult time for our state with hope and faith for support. Since September 14, the invasion into our country along the entire border of Batken and Osh regions continues. The attack by the Tajik military has taken the lives of all fathers, brothers, sisters and children. Our children are witnessing the war with their own eyes. More than 140,000 civilians from Batkin region were forced to evacuate from their homes. They were left without a roof over their heads. Tajikistan violated a number of international obligations by using force against civilians of Kyrgyzstan. Tajikistan violated basic norms of international humanitarian law. Tajikistan had ratified all four Geneva Conventions of 1949 and the Additional Protocol of 1977 and the Hague Conventions, which are the basis of international humanitarian law. Tajikistan attacked civilians and civilian infrastructure of Kyrgyzstan in violation of fundamental UN principles. According to the UN Charter of 1945 and the Declaration of Principles of International Law concerning friendly relations and cooperation among states in accordance with the Charter of the United Nations. By committing an act of aggression against Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan violated provisions of the UN General Assembly Resolution 3314 definition of aggression of 14 December 1974. To this day, the facts of Tajik military attack on the border territories of Kyrgyz Republic have been distorted. Our schools and hospitals have been burned. The entire infrastructure of our towns and villages has been destroyed. The Tajik military are planting their flags on the ruins of our homes. Video evidence shows this. This is no more a conflict between neighbors. This is an armed attack, an aggression on our independence. We ask the world community to pay attention to the actual video and photo facts. We call on the Republic of Tajikistan to stop the military aggression against the Kyrgyz Republic.